Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of the No More playthrough of Grey Muffin Fortress. Ah, let's see what we are gonna do today. Let's uh, roll the time immediately. Actually, let me uh, rename one of the guys. Let's go with uh, Builder here. Karimancher mentioned in the comments that I should name people. I mean, the gnomes is my viewers, so Karimancher will be the first one to be named. And if anyone else feels like they would like to have a gnome in the fortress, just let me know in the comments below the video. Oops. Okay, there we go. I remember that there is this thing that when you name someone it doesn't immediately change. You have to go out of the population view and come back. But there is Karimancher the Builder. Will now be building some stuff for us. Also, I read that uh, digging too much ore down here is not, probably not the best idea because it increases the value of my fortress by a lot, which means uh, we may get some goblin attacks and stuff like that if we suddenly just uh, have a ton of metal increasing the value of our tiny little hole here. So I should be careful not uh, spending too much time down there until I actually need all that metal and uh, coal and stuff. Uh, I would still like to get a different colored stone and getting that might be a bit difficult because uh, I would like to use something else than this bauxite but like, I guess I'm stuck with that for now but I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait a bit. I, I may actually just use wood, uh, which might be a bad idea. Spend all my hard-earned wood to build a housing, but I, I don't know. The bulk set is kind of ugly and reddish. But for now, it's the only thing we have available. And I, I'm a bit scared digging down deeper into the ground until I actually have some military capability or anything. So, for now we are just gonna stick with this. I'm gonna mine one line to this direction as well to see. Actually, well, let's cancel the other. It's enough if it's, if it's uh, one space wide. It doesn't have to be two spaces. And let's see, do we have a miner actually working at the moment? Yes, we do. Well, he's sleeping, but he'll do some mining when he's ready. Also, let's see if the well... Well, is still not done. Task built well. So planks are still missing. They're actually making the planks. They only had one. They have five blocks for some reason <laughs> in there. Some extra, I guess. So that should be on the way. The drinks are getting dangerously low, and uh, we need to do something about that. The battles are still not done as well for that. Oops. So, battles are being made soon, hopefully. So this may be uh, my first big issue. <laughs> hopefully this doesn't end up in, in the same situation as we did got in the previous fort where we died. To the, the thirst, like immediately. It's kinda scary thought. Um, let's see. So, the wheat farm is going there, S strawberries... I'm actually kind of tempted to level this also as well. Do we have anyone who is not really working on anything important? That's a lot of planting of seeds, that's fine. And all the fabricators are working as well. The miner actually, ev everyone is doing a good job. So, I'm just gonna wait. Did I have a build? Yeah, oh yeah, it was the Karimanchar the builder. He doesn't have anything to build at the moment, except well, the well and uh, the distillery or brewery. So that's gonna take a while. So one more plank, and now there is six, six blocks. <laughs> um, Karimanchar is not the most clever builder, it seems. You tell him to take the four blocks there and four planks, he takes six and then stockpiles some extra planks probably as well. Um, I should stockpile uh, 
put these logs in a location as well. Eventually. Why is the milk uh, actually not being moved into the stockpile here? Is it a... What is it? What is it? Is it a body part? No, it cannot be body part. Actually, I should uh, store these as well somewhere safely. Hmm, interesting. Maybe there is just no room for that. Maybe we need a barrel to store the milk properly in the stockpile. Or the stockpile is just uh, constantly full, so they cannot really stockpile it anyway. Um, I, I'm gonna make a ton of battles and uh, these boxes, and maybe sacks when I, when I can, because uh, they make the stockpile so much more efficient, space-wise. You don't need to have <laughs> massive, massive stockpiles for a lot of stuff. Also, a couple torches would be cool. Uh, you need coal for those, I think. Where do you actually make the torches? I think it's... Maybe carpenter? Yes, there we go. So, any sticks and coal. And you should be able to make the sticks as well, yeah. So I'm gonna actually add... Craft to 10 torches. So we can put torches uh, on the surface to light up the night and also into the tunnels eventually when we dig deeper into the scary layers actually I could uh, when we get a, a torch I could go one space down and see if there's any interesting stone on the eighth floor and uh, put the torch down there so the golems and skeletons and whatever don't spawn down there or I could just uh, quickly take a look in there and if it's not good stone, something I wanna use, like a greyish, let's say granite, marble, basalt would be cool as well. Uh, I could uh, just uh, block the wall, I mean the hole with a wall, so there is no risk of any anything scary coming up from down there. What is this sound? Oh yeah, it's, it's the farming, yeah. So the cotton farming is going well on the way, it seems. I may have uh, made a way too big cotton farm, but at least we'll have a massive stockpile of cotton. Although that means also that uh, the cotton will probably have a value of something worth one. Well, it's not that much, but if we just keep stockpiling tons and tons of uh, cotton, it means uh, it's, it's gonna inflate the fortress value for no reason. So I may actually, let's see, um, well, just, just keep it there. <laughs> I was thinking maybe cutting the half of the plot away and just keeping the other half, but it's actually fully planted, so just keep it as it is, I guess. Uh, I don't remember what the attack limits were for the enemies, but just having one added for each cotton is not that bad, I guess. So, ooh, the well is being made. Hooray for Karimancher. Karimancher actually has the most epic gnome hair known to man. Hmm. I guess this is uh, what we have available and, and not, not at the location. I, I at least hope so. <laughs> because this will be an interesting well with uh, tons and tons of extra stuff <laughs> added to it. Mm, so there is more copper this way. And apparently there is no other stone on this layer. That really sucks. So the drinks issue is almost cleared out with the well. Well, it's not final solution, but it's at least a temporary solution before we die. So the battles still still on the queue. Craft item. What are we doing? Well, we are crafting an item, I don't know which one. It's a table. Probably for the yeah, market stall. That's uh, also fine. We don't really have anything to trade at the moment, so the market stall is kind of... Uh, I don't know. And the, here is the barrel, barrel for distillery and my extra barrels and torches, so... Should be fine. I, I really hope this goes well. It's still on, on the spring, so... <laughs> it's not even a summer, and we are 
scared of dying uh, from lack of drinks. It's kind of bad. So I, I wanted to build something today, but I guess it's not going to happen. I'm planning uh, to cut down these trees, also these ap apple trees, and uh, I want to have. Well, actually, I'm going to level this this hill and this hill. So this will be a, be a totally flat area in front of the. Like a courtyard for the fortress, and the fortress itself will be built on the side and inside of this uh, mountain here, and also this hill. I'm gonna build some kind of guard tower here, and uh, I was pl planning on uh, creating a platform, kind of on the between these this hill, maybe on this level. Let's see. Maybe actually, yeah. Maybe I'll level this a bit. So I'll, around here, I'll have some kind of stand standable platform and I was planning to have like a staircase going down not staircase just a ramp I guess or stairs in this area maybe stylize it a bit to look it nice and then just platform here and uh, then there will be another staircase up, up this hill on this hill some kind of guard tower and uh, then the mighty entrance into the fortress here and into there that's have to wait. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait a bit. It's a quite a labor-intensive job. I would love to have a couple more gnomes when we get the food and drink situation under control to get some more workforce because uh, my whole population is at the moment pretty much all working on something already. So what's in the ground here? It's a uh, grain wheat. So we need to actually do something about the wheat, and it's probably a workshop we need for that. Let's see. A workshop. Uh, kitchen sounds well. Uh, so it's probably kitchen. Training grounds, prospectors, market stalls, smelter, stingers bench. I guess it's the kitchen. There, it, there is no like meal uh, that I can see. Some kitchen would be. A priority. We need a knife. What do we need for knives? Sounds like a stone knife to me. That's the block making. So this is probably a, that's the mason. And this is the stone carver. That sounds like the right place. No, that's the statue pillar maker. So mason. Yes, saw blades. That's for the lumber mill, and uh, also a knife blade. So it blocks and uh, okay. So um, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make the kitchen because uh, one of the best things. Ah, don't click on that. One of the best things in this, compared to many of the uh, this type of games, is that when you add a building like kitchen and it requires these things, the game will actually auto queue making of those if you don't have uh, some in storage, which is which is really really amazing. So you don't don't have to go to every building yourself, make this, n make the next part, make the next part, and make the next part. Screw that, you just pop down the building and uh, they'll queue them automatically and uh, get you the thing you need. So it's uh, really nice for a lazy person like me. So down there, a kitchen. And we need, what do we need for the kitchen? We need a, a chair and a knife, so that's fine. And uh, also, let's check out the, the sawmill. So we could do a sawmill as well. It's a bit crowded here already in my workshop area. Just plop it down there as well. This is just a temporary solution anyways. Uh, I did make these rooms here for dwarfs, sorry not dwarfs, gnomes. Uh, like a private rooms, but I'm not sure if I wanna use this. This is not so nice. I, I, I'm, I wanna build up, not down. <laughs> I feel like gnomes should live on the surface and maybe utilize like hills and uh, these mountains and not like dwarves dig into the mountains and dig down other than just uh, of course uh, do some mining there they shouldn't live on the ground too much I also like really much building a um, uh, overground fortresses in dwarf fortresses as well uh, if, if you have seen me stream that game or uh, saw some of my uh, previews on PF map archives or something. Uh, they are pretty much always just huge 
over ground fortresses because I, I, I really like that. Or on the side of the for uh, mountains or something. Because uh, they look cool. And they present you with uh, different kinds of problems. Flying enemies are horrible when your fortress is uh, open air, like a town with buildings. Because they will just fly in and eat your guys, or even worse, uh, goblins with bows on a bat, just shooting you down, raining death. It's pretty horrible. I think this may have been a mistake, but I don't know. I wonder if uh, having all this garbage on top of the growing area is causing any issues, because it sounds kind of bad. Also, some kind of kitchen, ah uh, sorry, not a kitchen, a uh, dining room would be nice. Do we have any extra chairs? We don't have any tables. We have tables. I think those are being used for the... We have torches as well. Ooh. So we have torches. Ooh, that's uh, actually good news. So we're, we're gonna dig down. Ooh. Ah, uh, uh, actually, ah, uh, cancel that. Well, too late. It was uh, sapphires, so it's gonna make the worst shoot up. So I'm gonna do this small room here. Just dig, dig in there and there. And I'm gonna dig, dig down from here and I'll just block this bit uh, if needed. Well, when when needed. I can use the torch to build it down there. So the well is done. So that's that's perfect. And it has access to water. It's actually worth money. That's not good. <laughs> but the well is done, so we should not drown. Um, not, we should, should not drown. Yeah, that's uh, something we shouldn't do. But we shouldn't be um, dying of um, thirst now. At least I hope so. I hope these uh, pesky gnomes know <laughs> know to drink water when they are going to die of thirst instead of just complaining that there is no alcohol to drink. Let's actually pause this for a second. Uh, or not pause, it seems. So dig down, stairs down, and rotate this over there. Come on. So. Cancel this part. And dig the stairs down. There we go. That's a bit scary. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. This could be a horrible mistake. <laughs> we, we, we'll see. Oh, he's doing something with the mushrooms there. No, not mushrooms. Strawberries. Why do I think these are strawber uh, mushrooms? And not strawberries, like constantly. So at least the well is done. So, in a second, when this is done, the distillery is done, one battle is done, I'm gonna have to dedicate someone on a massive brewing duty. It's gonna eat into my strawberry stocks, though, so that's not good. Also, when kitchen is done, I need to dedicate someone to make bread. But soon, let's uh, speed up a bit. It's a uh, night time, and people are people are sleeping, and not nothing much is happening at the moment. So, anyways, let's speed up. Drinks are slowly dwindling. Did we actually pick up all the stuff we had uh, on the side of the hill here when we started out? Yeah, it seems we moved all the garbage off the hill and down into the location here. Also, uh, practically all dirt has been cleared out, except, well, these and these. But the sleeping room stockpiles are kinda cleared out. And uh, this guy is still moving the dirt, so it's, it's just nice. Uh, no, he's still sleeping. I think he... no, that's someone else. Yeah, he's still sleeping. It is now summer. That's scary thought. 
Well, we have weeds growing, so we should be fine for now. We should forage as much as possible as well. And we should actually uh, get a tree growing area somewhere. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna flatten this area and uh, kind of plan my farming and everything better here. Because they are just now kind of plopped down wherever. So, eventually, some plans. So now he's doing the digging there. And that's the down path. And it is still bug set. <sighs> so I'm gonna wall off this area because it's not what I was looking for. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I still can't really find what I'm looking for. So stone wall, just use a raw stone, put it there, wall it off. Don't don't need it. Also, I'm not sure how much uh, pathfinding is uh, affected in this game by having open area, like it usually does in these games. So I could uh, just block these and some of the other areas, yeah, just to make the pathfinding calculation a bit faster. I hope he actually walls the tunnel from this side and not from that side and block himself inside, <laughs> as, it <laughs> as it is known to do in these games. Actually, he's pretty clever this time. So that should be fine. So I wonder if my whole mountain is bauxite. That would be annoying. I, I probably need to Google if uh, you have a single stone type on your map. It, actually, if anyone knows, just let me know in the comments. Or do I get something else down below? But it, it seems we are gonna have to use bauxite for now. Oh, 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 what is that? It's a bear. Oh no. Holy hell. Stay away, bear. Luckily, no one is actually hanging around in this area. It's after my strawberries. Please, stick there. <laughs> oh crap, there's the another bear. <gasps> we should wall off this whole <laughs> wall for now. <laughs> because we don't really need to go outside yet. The bears are going away. Phew, the other one left and the other one is hiding behind the wall there. So that's good. Where are you going? Curry. That's a, that's a bear there. He's... What are you doing? Stocking an item. Is it stockpiling the dirt? Oh! 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 Hell. You're on the wrong side. No match. Ah, that's no good. Uh, oh! Oh yes, they can. Can you? Oh yeah, they can. They need to go around uh, up the hill down the hill around this whole thing and they can actually get ooh, at, what, stocking an item oh, oh yeah, yeah yeah that's good so three more nomads so that means we have a, a population of 12 now that's great uh, so we need uh, some jobs I'm gonna add another builder so Bakum or Bakchum I don't know uh, will join the Karimanchar in the building tasks we'll I have to get another... I don't know. Just... Get another farmer and... Uh, just everyone go farming duty. Because, why not? Until the... Oh, kitchen is ready. So someone will be actually a chef. Loaf of bread, any... Yes! Craft loaf of bread. I have to actually just repeat infinitely. And we'll actually have to do a new profession. So, a new profession. So, this is gonna be a chef. Ah, uh, well, chef. Actually, we'll have to call it cook chef. It's kinda boring. We'll have to call it something more interesting. Let's see. 
will be a nutrition monster. And I don't like that. Ah, just go go for that. <laughs> and we'll cancel all of these. What is actually the cooking? Is it agriculture? Yes, it is. Cooking and brewing. Uh, yeah, you can do both. We'll get a cooker and a brewer. That's good. And we'll make um, some of these new guys. Azaz. The Nutrient Muncher. So you can go craft some some bread for us. And once the distillery is done, I'm gonna dedicate someone else on that on that job. And uh, how is our population doing? Everyone is stocking items. That means uh, some poor people are out of jobs. Which means let's go uh, agriculture, forage, forage those, and forage those. That's that's amazing. Three nomad more. Uh, nine hay beds should be fine, I guess. Problem is that the drinks are now dwindling at alarming rate, even faster than they were. So the battle sh should be done now. I think now you added some something new there. Ah, well, le let's hope the well can keep them in drinks for a moment. So the sawmill pushed uh, the battle down. Well, anyways, we have a guy doing that work, so it should be fine. Of course, the carpenter wants to make the sawmill first. Yes, he's gonna be the one to use the brand new sawmill. I would love to kill the bear. We should get some ranged weapons. How do you make ranged weapons? You can actually make wooden shields here. Let's see what kind of workshops there are. Actually, you can go from build, workshop. Oh, that's nice. Handy. Military training grounds, mechanism, tinker bench, machine shop, engineer shop, furnace. So it's probably a weapon smith. There is no like bow, boyer, or uh, anything like that. So what do we need for weapon for a blacksmith? Probably things we don't have yet. Let's see. Does it say here? Yes, it does. Uh, black weapon smith. You need hearth bellows, ball bean pe uh, hammer. So all kinds of stuff. So I guess we need a uh, some of these other things first. Ah, so the drinks are gone. And now, now, it remains to be seen if they actually do use the well. The pretty industry is uh, actually now working, so... <laughs> we have a... Uh, stale bread. Actually, it's fresh from the oven at the moment, but... We have some bread going, and... Uh, hopefully, the distiller is done soon. This lazy guy needs to make the barrel and get the distal letter going. Well, no one is thirsty yet. Uh, I'll keep an eye on the well here to see if anyone actually will use it. Um, is my miner actually... Oh, sorry, no, not the stocks. Is my miner actually out of job? He's stockpiling items, so... Let's pause this. I'm gonna start leveling. Actually, we need to cut down the trees first. Ah. Well, we could uh, level this first. Let's see. Uh, what would be the best way to level this? We could do ramps up. No. Is there. Cancel that. Dig down. Dig a hole. Dig a hole. So let, let's uh, just. Ah, there is a tree over here as well. Ah, well, 
guess we are not gonna do it yet. We, we need to just clear cut this area of all the trees and things. Well, uh, this is a good test for uh, the mining. If it removes the hill like I want, wanted to do. Also, we should uh, probably think about this clay and how to use that. Okay, it, it looks like it's doing the job. Aha! Whoa! What was that? <laughs> Something splashed in the water. In there. Maybe they actually drink the water. Ah, and uh, it's probably actually coming from there. So we should have an infinite supply of water. I'm not sure if that applies to winter as well, but that remains to be seen. So we could actually pump this and make a moat and some other water features. That's uh, good to know. So a lot of uh, foraging going on in there. I guess <laughs> in this episode we don't get the distillery done because this episode is actually running a bit long again. So I'll be stopping here again and uh, thanking you for watching up to this point if you have. And uh, I'll be back again with some more Nomoria next time. And hopefully we'll get the distillery going and uh, some other stuff. And uh, I'll also read up on some of the things I thought about on this video. So, see you guys next time.